What is up YouTube? This is Danny's Reef Tank. Mine, the noise and the mess, uh, drying out the closet, water heater, had some issues going on. But, uh, tank's a little bit, uh, got some particles floating around just in case you notice. I'll just wipe this first glass. And what you'll notice here is there's no longer a clam. I think I jinx myself every time I say something's doing good and it dies. Um, the way I'm thinking is maybe this blenny had something to do with it. It could just be my tank as well. But it did seem like it had some kind of like nip marks. So maybe it's stressed out. Maybe it just died. I'm not really sure. But it is now out of this tank. Uh, other than that, tank's doing great. Uh, you can just see all the new additions since the uh, frag tank shut down. Just load it up. Uh, Toad stools mainly in the back. And your things that kind of get invasive like your uh, star polyps and your pulsing exania. But uh, tank is doing good. So I just wanted y'all to check that out YouTube. And on a side note, I did end up getting uh, the auto top off installed. You see my water thing right there. It's doing pretty good. I'm trying to test about how fast it goes out. Uh, it is the Aqua... Auto Aqua... I don't think it has a name. Smart ATO. Got it off... Oh, there it is, the model number. SATO 100P. Got it off Marine Depot for 150 and it's a laser one y'all and it really is the easiest thing I've ever set up in my tank. It took me maybe two minutes. And honestly the two minutes just took me running the cords. Really super easy to use. So far hasn't had any issues. Worked perfectly. Um, I'm thinking that's really going to help the tank. Hopefully once my paycheck clears I will be ordering me a dosing pump off Marine Depot as well. And I'm going to get that set up this week or once it arrives. So hopefully I can show you all that as well. Just in case you wanted to see it, the auto top off. Basically, what it does, cut my light on, so give me one second. Basically, what it does is it's that, and it's a magnet on the other side with the laser shooting through it. You basically line it up where you want the tank to stop the water. In the middle, that's where it's going to be. It has a power, two other buttons that I don't even know what they're for. You have a power cord that runs into the plug, and then you have a cord that runs into the pump of the sump. Then you mount your water drain, make sure it's not in the water so it doesn't backflow or back siphon. You can see mine right there. And it does all the work for you. As long as you got water in your jug, you are good to go. So there you have it, YouTube. Skimmer is now staying like perfectly, like perfect level since you get a lot of junk out of here. Really am loving that. And I can't wait to get the dosing pump going because that's going to be even better. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you for checking it out, YouTube. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, comment, any questions. Let